In the last video we looked at total internal reflection, how this works with optical fibres. Uh, I'd just like to explain that in a bit more detail and look at the different sorts of optical fibres and some of the problems that we can overcome with them. This is a zoomed in view of an optical fibre and what we might find is that there are two sorts of material inside it and each of these materials has a different refractive index and therefore there's a step change in their indexes. We call this a step index optical fibre uh, provided that a ray of light hits the boundary uh, where the angle of incidence is larger than the critical angle then what we get is total internal reflection. Now I'm just going to be a bit kind of uh, sort of hasty in my drawings here but what we have is provided that critical angle isn't exceeded the ray of light passes all the way along that. And this is how we can use total internal reflection uh, to send light or some other kind of electromagnetic radiation along an optical fibre. One of the problems though is that if we have uh, bits of light that maybe take a different path, perhaps we have another uh, ray of light that is moving like this, what we might see is that because it's bouncing off different parts of the optical fibre, by the time it gets to the end it actually takes a different length and what we have then is uh, a problem in the signal. Now in the olden days we used to use Morse code where we had a series of dots and dashes uh, and we could send different letters along. Now optical fibres work in the same way but this time rather than having dots and dashes we have uh, a light source or some kind of radiation which is either on or off and what we might start with is a signal a bit like this and what we can do is very quickly have that light effectively turning on and off and this sends a signal along the optical fibre. Now the problem is with having uh, what we call this modal dispersion is that we might start with a signal which is very clearly off or on and when that light goes along some of the light takes a longer path and what we end up getting is rather than a sharp signal we get something that looks a bit like that and that's what we call uh, the modal dispersion. Now luckily by using uh, digital signals rather than analogue signals we can still tell roughly if that's on or off. So what we can do then is we can put this through a filter and then we can say well at this time here it was maybe off and at another time it was on. And this means that although there might be some uh, the signal might not be getting through perfectly we can apply a filter and we can get back to the original signal. This is another solution. Uh, what we can have is material where we have again the two different uh, refractive indexes, so maybe N1 in the outer layer and N2 on the inner, but this time the inner core is a lot narrower. So what this means is that uh, the rays of light moving down it, they have less chance to have a different path difference. And therefore every ray of light moving along in what we call a monomode optical fibre uh, every ray of light doesn't have the chance to spread out and take a different path length. And again, this gives us a high quality digital signal at the other end. So what might go in as a series of ones and zeros or ons and offs, we get out at the other end very close to that original signal. And this means that we can send data very, very quickly over long distances. Uh, we don't need to have lots of uh, boosting stations along the way, so we can send very long cables. And we don't need to have the, the expensive equipment at the other end to sort of uh, try and filter out the original signal.